Hey everybody, today I found this Dell computer at a thrift store for just 10 bucks. I also found a 1080p monitor that was $10 as well. I knew that this was a killer deal and decided to buy both of them. The computer had some signs of wear and tear, but I felt confident that it would still work. Coming home, the first logical thing to do is to open up the computer and take it apart. The side panels come off easy enough, revealing the compact nature of the system. We can see here that the power supply takes up almost the entire length of the bottom of the tower. With a lot of these older business PCs, you see some clever engineering to fit all the components in a small space. I was happy to see that none of the parts had been removed at the thrift store, which unfortunately happens a lot. The first item I removed was the disk drive. I was then able to remove the hard drive bay and unplug it. The system has a 1TB Seagate drive. We'll have to wait and see if it still works. That gave me access to the RAM slots, and I discovered that our system has two 4GB sticks of DDR3 RAM. I then removed the video card from the PCIe slot and began to remove the heatsink off of the processor. There were four screws holding it in place over the socket, and another two screws holding it in on the side. With all six screws undone, I was able to remove it entirely. Taking off the heatsink, we could see the thermal paste that was on the CPU. It was dry, even though it wasn't the worst I have ever seen. To clean it, I just used a dry napkin to get the bulk of it off, and then wiped up any residual paste with a Q-tip soaked in rubbing alcohol. With all the thermal paste gone, I could see that the CPU is an Intel i5-3470. Having gutted the tower of its internals, I noticed how dusty the tower was. One of my favorite parts of buying old computer systems is using a can of compressed air to remove the dust. At this point, it is time to reassemble the computer. I applied some fresh thermal paste, reseated the heat sink with its six screws, I reinstalled the two sticks of RAM, plugged in its fan. I plugged the SATA power and data cables back into the hard drive and locked the drive bay in place. I could then slide the disk drive into place and plug it in as well. Now, a word about this video card. It is a Vision Tech 4350, which has 512 megabytes of DDR2 VRAM. It seems a bit outdated for a system that is from 2013, but with an adapter it would support dual monitors, so it's common to see GPUs like this one in business environments. Making sure that the PCIe slot tab was in the right position, I reinstalled the card and was able to close the side panel. Upon booting, it did post. However, there was a loud noise coming from the computer. I opened up the side panel while the computer was still running and found that the fan on the GPU heatsink was extremely noisy. I decided to remove the GPU entirely, but another solution could have been just to unplug its fan cable. Other than that, the computer seemed to be working fine. I began the process of installing Windows 10 from a USB drive since I didn't know any of the previous user's passwords. Fortunately, the Windows installer was able to use the activation from the previous copy of Windows 10 Pro, so I did not have to spend any money on a new Windows 10 license. Unfortunately, there appears to be something wrong with the hard drive. While performing some Windows updates, Task Manager was reporting 100% disk utilization. I knew this was unusual because SATA 3 hard drives are rated to have 6 GB per second of transfer speeds. At first I thought it could be the SATA cable, but replacing it didn't solve the problem. I think I will just have to buy a new hard drive for this system. But at the end of the day, I really can't complain. The whole system only cost me $10 and about 30 minutes of time to clean and refurbish it. That plus the cost of a new hard drive is a steal in my book. I'll probably end up flipping this computer and try to sell it for around 80 bucks. If you'd like to see more of my thrift store tech adventures, please like the video and let me know in the comments. I'd also appreciate it if you subscribe so then you can see future videos of the cool tech I find the next time I go thrift shopping.